Welcome to another video of Red Street Daily. It's your boy Roddy. Um, this video is going to be about the lifters that I swapped out on my uh, 240SX, a single cam K24E. And um, Carlos V commented on it. You know, he got the lifters from a junkyard car and he wanted to know what if they're good or not. And there's some questions about it. Um, the link in the description is going to be somewhere. I don't know which side <laughs> when I put when I edited the video and it was it was it would uh, basically show what the comment was about and what this little section of this video is about. But uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's dive into the uh, these lifters here. So this is a bad lifter, as you can already see the 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 spring tension in this one is already dead. Like you see, there's nothing. It's uh, the little cap inside is not all the way down my nail right here and I pushed it in it doesn't come up by itself this one is no good so this is a bad lifter um, if you have one in your car this is gonna cause a lot of tapping right um, just by tapping it see it comes out by itself that is not supposed to happen and a lifter like that is bad all right need to be replaced now the other lifter that is fair is this one it's okay good you know you could get away with it but it's about to fail to be like that one um, as you can see this one here it's a little harder to squeeze right so the best way to test it if you have to put a lot of pressure on it to squeeze um, that means it's not good so I'm wearing a black shirt that shouldn't have it's a bad demonstration I hope this works but you can see where I try to squeeze it. When the oil pressure goes through, through these ports on the inside, see these little ports? When the oil pressure goes through here on the, on the rail, it goes in to, you know, activate the, uh, the, the oil pressure inside this uh, cylinder here. It would actually not work as efficient, so you still would have to replace it. Um, as you can see, there's like, you see that imprint? That's because it's been working hard. It's not working properly. That's the reason why that is like all shiny and out of shape and actually has a road mark on it. But still taking account, this car has over 200,000 miles on it. But um, that's your problem right there. It won't work as efficient because it's sticking, right? So if it's sticking and it's hard, hard a little hard to push, it's no good right you could get away with it but not for long now you have a good one this is good actually this was still good i took it out it still has a little wear on it but it's not as much wear as this one right so this one is fairly good i could, I could have still reused this but i chose not to because i bought a whole brand new set um you see right here this is where i got it from ebay and um this it was really expensive. Um, if you was to go to the dealership, you probably pay like a, almost six, over $600 for the whole set. I went to Advance Auto mm. and uh, AutoZone and they only have one or two exhaust side or two or three um, intake side. And I was like, you know, screw it. I went to eBay and I bought the whole kit right here. It was a little bit cheaper because all everybody else saw was selling them. It was like $38 a piece for one of these. One of these are $38 and it would have come up to almost $600 if I was actually go get the whole set. But on eBay, I saved some money there and I actually, you know, it worked out. I got all exhaust side and intake side for a good price. Um, then to know that this is good now, you see where the plunger is, the little cylinder here. You know, oil goes in, creates this uh, pressure and it moves very easily. Like, I could do a, a good picture of it. It moves very easily. Like, it doesn't, um, there's no, there's no uh, hold back. It has a tension, of course, because there's a spring inside, but it literally bounced right back, very easy, no problem. And that's to know if you have a good lifter or not if not if it's like this one where you had to really push on it and you could feel a little bit of resistance plus you know it's not as not smooth like this one then you have to replace it 
and if it's dead like this one go ahead and replace it right away all right and uh, that's it for this little segment so I hope this is this uh, video helped um, this little set demonstration of my Q&A uh, question and answering um, because I want to have everyone has this general channel of where they just you know build stuff and stuff like that and you know small details here and there but I want to be able to get be able to communicate with my viewers please like and subscribe to the channel the more questions you ask the more videos I could produce and so this way the channel will grow um, tell your friends tell your neighbors tell whoever you may come across like hey man uh, I just saw this video this guy show you know guy in Red Street Daily on YouTube he just uh, did, uh, show me or answer my question and you know you can answer whatever question you might have uh, so just give me a like give me a subscribe so and uh, watch the next videos man just and ask me questions I am here to answer whatever questions I can because everyone everyone wants to save a save a dollar you know even if it's like a five cent there's people out there just would wait two weeks to save five cent on a part on a sale <laughs> so just uh, let me know what you think um you know like I said before each part exhaust side or intake side for the cams uh, lifters it was literally almost $38 to $40 a piece and I got them on eBay I think it was a little under 300 um, I have a, fr I have a friend in that works for Nissan and actually when he, I asked him about the price because I was like gonna go to the dealership and grab, grab the part and when I asked him how much the part was all the all the cams was for the exhaust and intake side it was over $600 and I was like for a car that's older than me <laughs> that's like a lot <laughs> so I just decided uh, no I went on eBay and I found it for a little bit less and I actually went along and buy them so the car sounded different right off the back the moment I put them in the car sounded different um, because now all the lifters all the uh, the cams are actually get uh, all the rods are basically getting their oil pressure and everything like that is actually like getting a nice flow of oil pressure and everything was pretty much good everybody was working good and the car sounded different instantly as I uh, started up and have it running um, but other than that just uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, my goal for this year is at least to get 500 subscribers and then next year another 500 but if you guys could help me out and push that number past that I'll be grateful for it along with the views and the likes and the shares so please continue to support your channel um, because I want it to grow very badly and that's one of the uh, goals for this year to have at least 500 um, subscribers by the end of the year and running at least 500 views or a thousand views per month it's a small number well, just, why you set your goal so low like come on it's a big wide spectrum of car guys out here so it's you know I gotta start somewhere and as and as momentum put, pick up just like 240 it gets going so please like share subscribe it's your boy at Rad Street Daily Roddy keep it real keep it ziggy you know one love peace